Well, good evening, sports fans. Here we are with video number two, following on from where we left off. So you should now have your tap water treated, the right amount of water in your tank, a pump with no pipes, pumping the water and the water conditioner together for a period of six to eight hours. That should all be done now. If that's done, great, you're on to the next stage, which is adding the salt to your uh, the salt to your tank tank water. There's quite a lot of products out there, quite quite a lot of different salts. Question is, which one do you use? Well, I asked this question as well. Did a bit of research, looked into it, and I come up with two names. Two names kept kept cropping up. So to help me, I called the local Sea Life Centre here in Blackpool. Asked them if they use one. They said yep. Yeah. They confirmed that they use this one which is instant ocean quite a popular one this is a eight kilogram tub that I got off eBay 25 pounds including postage um, eight kilogram tub does 240 liters of water which is what my tank is currently 240 liters of water so yeah, so basically it'll come, it'll be sealed, unseal it, use a small cup, scoop the salt out and uh, distribute it around the tank evenly, well as evenly as you can, as best as you can. The pump will still be going from mixing your water, your tap water and conditioner, leave that going because that's also now going to do the cycling for the water and the salt to make your, your salt water. Uh, you need to really do this for a minimum of 24 hours, I'd say, at least 24 hours, no less. Give it a good mix. I don't know if it shows up in this video, but in my tank, there's actually indentations in the tank. And what you need to do is, while your salt is mixing in your water, you need to check it every two to three hours and check that it's, that it's mixing okay. And you will find that you might get build, build up of salt in certain areas quite an easy thing to do, bit of plastic pipe or whatever you've got, something that's nice and clean obviously you don't want to pollute the water before you begin. If you've got to build up a salt here for argument's sake, put something in and just move it around and spread it out, that tends to do the trick. Um, and then yeah, just leave that mixing up for, for 24 hours. Now the salt levels in the tank are quite important, you want the level of salt to be as near if not bang on to what it will will be at sea for, for shellfish so if you need to know this information give me a message on Facebook or check the description I'll add it in the description checking the salt levels you'll need something called a hydrometer now a hydrometer there's various different ones I got this one off eBay it was about eight quid just don't get it. Do not get this type of hydrometer. They are rubbish. They're crap. Giving me all sorts of wrong reasons. As a matter of fact, it won't have been in that. Listen. Yeah, that's what we need to do with that. Scrap it. Waste the money. Now, what you need is you need the digital hydrometer. They're about 20, between 20 and 30 quid. This is, this is mine here. And you will get this, which you'll use to just take a small bit of tank water, put it onto your hydrometer and I'll, I'll, I'll do another video to explain how to use a hydrometer if it's needed but you know you can quite easily go on Google and find out how this bit of kit works, it's quite simple, you put the water on, you look through into the light through the lens and it will give you a reading, um, do not, you know, don't don't go to any other stages until you get your, your, your salt level bang on really, it needs to, it's very important that your salt level is right before you move on any further with any other stages so hopefully this video has helped you out and uh, you're another step closer to creating your live lobster storage tank and we'll see you uh, with some more details in video 3